pest control is not the chemical. It's the inspection, then designing the protocol, and then doing the follow-up inspection. If you're not following up, you have no idea whether it works or not. So, you know, you, it is, it's a science and an art. The principles will work, yeah. but the question is, did you do the principles at the right time? Was it the right species, the right answer? We have to do both. We have to do the, the art part of, you know, finding it out, understanding the science, following back, and seeing what worked and what didn't in order. So, so this idea that you can just come once a month and spray, and I got control, spraying is not control. Spraying is spraying. Chemical is not control. Chemical is chemical. Control is going to depend on all these factors and how do we do it and how do we actually figure it out of what's going to work on this part because you have now, we saw bicolored ant, we have crazy ant, now we have big head ant. We started originally with just ants in the kitchen and some beetles and we're discovering we have all these other ant problems that are different, different behavior and then, you know, how are we going to handle it? So we're going to do now the initial and we're going to get that started. We already kind of try to figure out what's here and we're going to start doing the service and then we're going to go and come back next week and we got to follow it up. So do you need to, do you need to know, do you need to identify basically the type You, you of always have to identify. Okay. The most important part is getting a positive ID. It's kind of like in medicine. You know, they say that 90% of the cure is getting a, a good diagnosis. If you're treating the wrong disease or you're treating the symptoms and you're not treating the disease, a lot of people are treating the symptom. They're not treating the problem. Oh. So we have to figure out, it's always identification first. Then designing the protocols for that specific. So what might be happening in this home might not be happening in another home that's five miles from here. Yes. They're in the same city. They're not having the same problems. They don't have water. They're inland. They're not an established neighborhood. They're in a new construction. They don't have the same plants that have the same insects on the plants that the, okay. that like, you know, aphids, mealybugs, thrips, uh, white flies. Um, those are insects that are hemipter and pests that will suck the plant and produce the sugar. And that's what people see that black stuff moody on the, that's from the sugar the mold got on there. So if there's a lot of plants that have that problem, if we don't treat the plants that have the up against the house and we're just treating the ant problem, the sugar's always there, they're going to be competing with our product. So we have to treat that insect too in order to control the ant problem. So everything is, it's, what we look at in pest control is I look at a holistic pest management because I have to look at the entire environment around me and understand what the relationship is with everything around it in order to be able to get the control. It can't be dependent on chemical only. Wow, that's very fascinating. Huh? It is, and it's, a, it's an amazing thing, but most people, are, you know, the problem, Henry, has happened that for 50 years, commercials on television have made us believe that if you spray something, you'll kill it and you'll get control. Killing is one thing. I can spray a roach and kill it. Well, I can hit a roach with my shoe and kill it too. I don't need to use a chemical. That's not control. That's killing. And all the products on the market that you look at will say it kills on contact. It doesn't say it controls. It says it kills on contact. Control has to do with understanding the biology, the science, the environment, and all that. So we look at it holistically. We don't look at just what's happening here is why is it happening and why is it here? And if we can change the environment or change what's happening in the environment, in this case, we can't change the lake, we can't change the landscape. So we have to know that, hey, if there's a plant on here that they like, we might need to treat that plant too. What about the irrigation? You, uh, irrigation is connected with you? you yes, say? water is water management is the most important thing. Okay. Because if you're irrigating every day, yeah. you're creating a perfect place for them to want to be in your garden. They need a lot, if an insect needs a lot of water, it, it's gonna be in here. So let's say, chinch bug. It doesn't need a lot of water. It prefers areas that are dry. So if you have too little water, you create a pest problem. And if you have too much water, you create a pest problem. It's finding what's the balance in the ecology. What's the balance in the environment? What's the perfect balance to get this thing taken care of? And that is a holistic approach. That is what we're going after is a holistic view of everything. So I have to understand plants. I have to understand what's, uh, what type of lawn you might have. I have to understand what's going on that I need to know and say, hey, what's happening? It's amazing. Yeah, so. It's so amazing. 